Alrighty, welcome to piece 17 of Asterism, a archaic punctuation based and inspired uh, collection of prose poetry that I've written. If you want to read all of the other pieces or hear them read to you, you can click on my own profile. Um, me reading them to you will only be under reels, but everything else will be just on my normal account. This one is called the exclamative comma. The exclamative comma is used to emphasize intensity during a phrase or clause. I loved you so much that it feels wrong to breathe without you here. Your name grows bitter in my mouth when I hold it there instead of letting it out. I can't tell my friends what happened. How could I? They'd ask a thousand questions and misunderstand my answers, but I'm scared the quiet might sound something like goodbye. But if I told them he'd be hurt, he'd feel guilt, even though he never knew there was an us. I could reinvent the story, draft a new quilt, pretend this all wasn't all caused by my distrust, but that's not a real way to negate this. Every pause in a conversation has a weight to it. Every beat of silence is its own exclamation. Every phrase, each word holding its, un, its own unedited emotions, its unyielding corrosion. There's a quiet that wasn't there before that follows me everywhere. There's a cold in me that warm drinks can't ease. There is no relief. It's in everything. It's a loop that's on endless repeat. They all know something happened. They all know me well enough to know that something happened. And they don't know me well enough to leave well enough alone. They know I don't talk about these things to just leave it be, but it's different this time because he's scared to leave me alone. I want to go home, but he's worried about me. He doesn't want me to leave. I can see it in him, a quiet and reserved whisper. He calls it a gut feeling and asks me what it could have been. He doesn't even know that I knew you. He didn't know that I had anything to hide. He isn't used to it being this bad from the outside. If he has any guesses, I don't know what they are. If they have any patience, I know I'll wear it. Then if they love me enough, maybe once I feel the scar, these pauses will be filled with conversation. But right now, I find myself lacking all words and trust needed to fill them in. I think your voice is the only one that can. Or maybe it's the only one that should. You reinstilled the inherent distrust that you fixed in me. Ali, you really fucked me up for good. You recaused all the problems I'd allowed you to solve. You took away my internal strength and self-resolve. But worst of all, you put a silence into the air that I can't speak out of existence. You made loving my best friend an act of resistance, and you managed to quiet me, I suppose, finally. I hope that silence brings you the peace you were after. One of us deserved happiness, and you stole all of my ending punctuation and left me with unfinished phrases to face my own rapture.